Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel, guys. If you're new here, thank you guys so much for coming to tune in and check me out. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eyed Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, so I think you'll find a playlist of a couple different things that you can tune into on my channel. I hope you guys will take a look around and find something that either resonates with you, that you find informational or knowledgeable or inspiring. Um, so hopefully you'll take a peek and that you'll stick around. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Always, 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 always love and appreciate you. Um, you guys always know that I always say that these are very general. So if you want something more personal, you know, please feel free to book with me. All that information is linked down below. I also have a donation link in case you want to help the channel grow, but just know it's not necessary. And at 250 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway. So I will be gifting a reading. And then I'll also give you a reading to give somebody else that you feel is in need of one. So we're going to do that when we reach 250 to give back and keep paying it forward. And I believe those are all the announcements for right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, guys, like yesterday, I did a pick a pile. You know, um, I think I, I think I did the love one yesterday for you guys, um, because I know that a lot of you, I know a lot of you out there thinking, you know, about love, and you know, it's gonna be Christmas, gonna be the new year. So I wanted to do that love one, but today I just felt drawn to do like an overall like message of like just whatever message they have for you guys of the day, but like very like a mix of everything. Like I have self care. I have just very like inspirational messages. I have a career message, journal message, and just kind of like overall good vibe energy messages, you know, that maybe we need to focus on for the day. So as I did in the last video, I wanted you guys to be able to see the process of me doing it because I know sometimes, you know, when I always say, don't you just love how these fucking messages come together? Like, look at that shit. Like, that's crazy. I don't want anybody thinking that I like, I legit like prep these cards ahead of time because I truly don't. I always like laugh. They like spirit literally always makes me laugh. Like sometimes if I if I'm reading something, I think you guys can notice like during the reading that I'm just like, oh, I'm like, all right, you know, because I, I get so surprised myself that they're so amazing at delivering at delivering us these messages that sometimes, even before I start reading, sometimes I think to myself, Will I like is this gonna be you know what I mean? Like, let's see what happens, like, but whatever. It's literally always like what you need, when you need it. Like it's it's always just amazing to me. I don't know, it's always amazing to me. It's like an amazing process. So at any rate, I wanted to make sure that I shuffled um and did that in front of you guys so you guys could see the process. I thought it'd be fun also just like a little behind the scenes for what you guys can see and how it's done. So we're doing it that way. So I have Two separate piles that I'm going to set up with. Um, I have a pyrite, which is a stone for like, you know, a lot of luck. Just very, very like a lucky stone, you know? Like, look at how gorgeous that is. Stone, just a stone. But the energy is like amazing. And then I have my favorite freaking citrine stone as well. I don't know if you guys can see that gorgeousness. See how it like glistens even when it's not in the sun? When it's in the sun, it's even more intense. It's beautiful. Citrine is for like happiness, joy, attracting good vibes towards you. So um, I asked for, you know, to give us just messages that we might need throughout the day. Anything that we need to look forward to. It could be in regards to career, it could be in regards to love or whatever. And then just I'm pulling a bunch of other like positive messages. That's all. It's kind of like a, a, pick, a, a pick a pile feel good messages or something. Maybe, we'll, maybe I'll title it that, you know, like just message of the day pick a pile feel good messages you know so let's get started all right spirit mike it's too early micah it's too early no you're not guys excuse me for one second okay guys sorry so um, <laughs> technical difficulties yet again. And it's so funny because I woke up feeling like that. Like if the, if the enemy was going to try to be ridiculous today and he's trying, but it ain't going to happen. So tomorrow guys, or, or maybe later today, I'll try to do like another just fun pick a pile. And then that way you can see the process because I ended up having to finish shuffling while I was having these technical difficulties and not have the two piles ready. And I wanted you guys to see me shuffle all the other ones and pick them, but it's okay. I can do it either tomorrow and you guys can see or 
Um, I think I did one where you can see anyway. But anyway, I know that wasn't like the most important thing. The most important thing is the messages. So let's focus on that. So we have the pyrite in pile number one, and then we have the citrine in pile number two. So I will give you guys a minute to concentrate, and then that way you can pick. And we're going to put my dream stone right in the middle as well. So I'll give you guys a minute. And then now we'll get started. Okay, so for those of you who chose the pyrite stone, look, 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 look. You guys got the overall message of the day for the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, there is lots of financial gain coming. Lots of financial gain. And it's so funny because like the instant energy that I got is like, you know that the fucking money's coming. You do. You know that the money's coming. And it's like, you're just sitting pretty doing you and doing what you got to do because you already know that it's coming. You see how she's kind of like petting the one pentacle? <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny. Like immediately when I looked at those cards, I said, oh, I said, this is amazing though. It's like an amazing vibe because like you guys know that it's coming and it is coming. Trust me. All right. Um, health. Allow me, divine, to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments I may have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me be a loving ally and friend to, to this sacred form. Yeah. And you know, it's funny. The other day I picked up on, on the fact that a lot of you are like not taking care of your bodies very well. And I think, I don't know if it, if it was for a reading that I did or if it was a reading for here for you guys. I can't remember, but I remember that a message had popped out that if you want to connect to the divine more, like you have to take care of your temple more, meaning like your body. And it's so true. Um, because if you notice, like if you eat garbage, you feel like garbage. And then if you eat like really good food, like you really honestly don't feel that bad. Like it's all mental, emotional, physical. It, it all aligns together. You know, they, everything always works together. So if you think about it that way, yes, a lot of you need to change those habits, myself included. Like I already started to kind of change things up. Well, I've always, I've been on that journey for like years, um, but I'm continuing my journey, like even more so now because of the fact that, you know, my abilities and my gifts and things like that, like I want to be able to continue to progress that certain things have to be done in order for you to do that. You know what I mean? So I know they always say very, very much so taking care of your temple, taking care of your body you just align more with yourself, just emotionally, you know, uh, mentally, physically, everything. You just align better. So for those of you out there who needed that message, take care of your body better. It, you really do. Your career message is flow. Get more done by entering the flow state. Completely and joyfully focus on what you're working on without multitasking. I actually have literally legit, I said to myself this morning that even though I'm an organized person and I am a multitasker, while being organized which is really hard for some people to do doing that it's sometimes not the best thing because it's true if you don't give something your like one particular time like let's say for example you have like three things to do throughout the day but then instead of making a schedule to sit for like an hour to do each one separately your mind just wobbles and you're just like oh my god and then you're thinking of trying to do it like whenever you can doing a million other things if you get your stuff like right like listed it's gonna flow better. And when you're in a more flow state, it's very true. Creativity starts to come through. You realize that you get unblocked. So it's very, very true. That's a really good career message for the day, actually. I feel like I might take what resonates with me. Like, seriously. Okay. Um, your self-care message is to connect with the earth. A lot of you have been getting this because a lot of you are forgetting to ground yourselves outside. Like, even take, you know, even if you go outside for like a drive or whatever, like you have to get outside. You have to get outside. If you don't connect with the earth, you don't feel close at all. And you don't feel good or like positive. Like if you're always staying stuck, 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 you know, like in the house. So a lot of you really need to remember to connect with the earth. It's, you see, like I said, how they flow together, like the messages, like hell, taking care of your temple, flow, connecting with the earth. You see how the messages always seem to come together. They just always know what we need, which is amazing. I love that. Um, okay. And then. 10, number 10, which means like completion and then the start of something new as well. A lot of you need to forgive. There's still a lot of heartache going on out there with you guys. And I feel it too, because I could feel it. At certain times, like randomly throughout the day, like I'll just feel so heartbroken and I'm like, why am I feeling 
so heartbroken. I'm like, I'm doing me. I'm working on my pentacles. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But it's you guys. It's because I always feel everybody at any given time. It's like the most hilarious thing. It could be a blessing and a curse sometimes. Honestly, guys, it really could. Like, it's just, it's so hilarious. But I always look more at the positive than the negative because it just, it balances out, you know? But it's so funny because, yeah, I can feel a lot of you out there still really heartbroken. And, like, my heart goes out to you. It really does. But it's going to get better. It's going to get better. But you have to learn to forgive, too, in your heart. You got to let all that go. Because, again, you want to be mentally, physically, emotionally, like, free to let everything flow to gain your abundance, right? You want the abundance, the wealth, the prosperity, because then you can give to others and then you feel joyful, you feel fulfilled, and you feel purposeful. So, yes, these are some very good positive. See, that's why I wanted to do it today because I felt like a lot of sadness this morning for some reason from a lot of you, and I was like, no. I was like, I need to do something where they can feel uplifted and, like, inspired. I'm like, no. Okay. Citrine pal number two. All right, so your tarot message of the day is you guys got the eight of cups. So there's new stuff coming. It could be in relationships, obviously, you know, like, you know, let's say maybe somebody could randomly propose to you or randomly just, you know, who knows? Who knows? You never know. But it's new beginnings. It's fresh starts, you know, coming together again. Could be with an old person, could be with a new person, you know. Um, but yeah, this is what you guys have to look forward to. I love it. So let's see. Hardship. May I embrace what's happening right now as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. Yeah, see, wasn't, and wasn't I just saying that I woke up like I feel your guys' heartbreak? They're still talking about this love stuff, you know? Like there's some of you out there that are just really, really heartbroken and feel like you can't I feel like, and, it's, and I almost feel like it's, for some of you, it's like a, a very, very specific person because it's almost like you, a lot of you have met this uh, this person in your life where you feel like you can't be with anybody else, like, like that this is your person. And so the heartbreak just feels so real when it doesn't work out. Um, so I feel your pain, guys. I really do. That's why I wanted to pull these fun messages for you because I, I just couldn't. Okay. So your career message is speak. Take center stage, speak at events, conferences, and workshops. Share your message and transform lives through your work. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily mean that, yes, go and, and you know, go speak in front of people and go to conferences and do this. No. The overall message is just spirit trying to tell you that you need to speak your truth. You need to be, you know, living in your truth. Like, if you have an idea about something or if you if somebody if you don't agree with something or whatever they're just they want you to use your voice whether it be for career love relationships any type of thing in life they just want you to speak up and spread your message you have a purpose you have a a message to give out there to somebody you know what i mean so they want you to be very well aware of it and use it all right self care is pleasure and it you know take it as it resonates leave the rest it could be individual pleasure it could be pleasure with somebody else, you know, not to get vulgar or anything like that. Or it just could mean pleasure overall, like do things that please you, do things that make you happy, whether that be eating a fucking Snickers bar in the middle of the day, even though you know you shouldn't be having a fucking Snickers bar, but it makes you fucking happy. You know what I'm saying? Have the Snickers bar. It could be having your cup of coffee in the morning in silence, praying and meditating and journaling and everything like that. Whatever it is that brings you pleasure, that pleases you, that's that's good for you, that, that kind of sparks that... Um, uh, the, the happy, you know, serotonin or whatever, like the happy chemical that releases, you know, when we're happy, do things that bring you pleasure because that's going to spark other stuff to get things going, like creativity, all that good stuff. And, oh, my God, I was just saying curious, uh, uh, creativity and look at the card that popped out for just, like, another inspiring message. Like, be your own first priority, you know? Self-care, take care of yourself. Like, look out for yourself. Look out for yourself. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself because that way you can come into that new abundance that's coming for sure. For sure. And I always say, guys, I literally legit always say, I'm like, when somebody is giving you messages and you're receiving messages or whatever, we all have free will. Don't get me wrong. We all have free will. We can do whatever the fuck we want. You can listen. You don't have to listen. You can do whatever you want. But I just, I feel like the... I learned this the hard way, but I just feel like if I would have just done work sooner in my life, my happiness would have been starting so late. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just, there's a lot of time that could be wasted by just not 
really following guidance that you're that you're trying to be given you know what i mean so if you're seeking the guidance and then you're receiving the guidance you kind of have to try the guidance out you know what i mean to see if it changes your perspective on the way that you've been doing things your whole life so just take it as it resonates leave the rest i hope you guys enjoyed this pick a pile for the day i know i feel a lot better i feel a little bit less sad and i feel like most of you feel a little bit less sad as well so I pray that you guys have an amazing day. You guys know that I love you, love you so much. And I think later on, I'll probably do a couple of love readings. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Love you guys.